of this as Sacramento State student protesters for Palestine are declaring a win. The university confirms they agreed to divest from entities supporting ethnic cleansing, genocide, or human rights violations. ABC 10's Devin Truby was at the student news conference today and got an inside look at the encampment. In fact, you are there right now in the thick of it all. Devin, still a lot of questions remain. Yeah, I am, Laura. I'm here inside the encampment, and that is one of the biggest questions. Are they staying or going? And while student organizers wouldn't give an official comment, I want you to take a look at what is clearly a very big cleanup effort happening right now. Student organizers inviting us in so you can take a look and see the community that they've created. While there are still many questions about how and when this divestment is going to happen. I believe that we just won. I believe that we just won. On the eighth day, protesters at Sac State for Gaza switched their chance from I believe we will win to we won. Full divestment from any entities complicit with genocide, ethnic cleansing, or human rights violations. On Tuesday evening, university leaders say they reached a resolution creating a policy on, quote, socially responsible investment, adding, we believe it's important that our efforts to fund students' education to not rely upon us benefiting from companies that profit from ethnic cleansing, genocide, or human rights violations. Thank Luke Wood for not following suit after other administrations and not calling Sacramento police and carcerally punishing the students of Sacramento State. Students say they were told the university has no direct investments, but will be dumping $4.5 million in indirect investments. ABC 10 spoke with Michael Malloy, a law professor at the University of the Pacific, who says this reminds him of calls to divest during the Vietnam War. He explained these investments could be stocks, bonds, equities, and other securities. And while they can be ended quickly, the board has a fiduciary responsibility to do what's financially best for the institution. They could get a much better return for the institution they represent just by waiting, then it may theoretically be a breach of their fiduciary duty to just dump this stuff. Protesters say Faculty for Justice for Palestine will be given a seat on the university's finance committee and also checking quarterly and annual reports to ensure accountability. But you are welcome to take some film and some B-roll inside the encampment. On Wednesday, students opened the gates to what they call Gaza Plaza, revealing the extensiveness of their encampment, three rows of tents deep, portable sinks, saying this is just one of 23 campuses. All need to divest and a message to the chancellor. Be afraid. <laughs> we want to emphasize once again, we will corner the chancellor. Yes. If this is possible on one campus, we've raised the bar nationwide, internationally. Yay. And so to, again, a message to all students, don't ask for anything less. Students have already started to caravan supplies over to UC Davis. So they said they can continue to use in the fight over there. They also said they'll take what's left and donate it to those that are experiencing homeless. In terms of remaining financial contributions to this movement, they said they'll be spread out across other CSU campuses to continue with the movement. Reporting live at Sac State University from inside the encampment, I'm Devin Truby, ABC 10. Yeah, Devin, some major developments today, but judging by that scene right behind you, that up-close look that you've been showing us, really shows there's still a lot of work ahead. Devin Truby, thank you.